Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Steven's Week, your weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome to this new episode. Singapore is moving to a new phase in their contact tracing for COVID-19. They have a Trace Together app. They had that for a while now. And about 2.1 million people have downloaded it and are using it out of a population of 5 million. That's about 40%. Um, which is not good enough um, to, to really get results with an app like that. So the government in Singapore will go one step further and they're going to make small Bluetooth uh, devices that people can just carry in their pocket. And that will you know, help the government to do a better contact tracing and to reach more people to contain the virus even better than they're doing today. This week, the deadline for TikTok passed um, on September 15th, the U US government told them that they either would have to store their data on a US database or they would be blocked in the US for the 100 million uh, TikTok users. Um, and they made a deal with Oracle. The deal with Microsoft and Walmart didn't go through. And they made a deal with Oracle. It's not a complete acquisition. It's a technology partnership is the terminology they used. And what's happening, in fact, is that the data that American TikTok users are generating will be stored on Oracle databases. And Oracle is, of course, one of the, the most secure companies in the world in terms of data management. It's what they do best. Um, so I guess that for the U.S. government, working together with Oracle seems like a safe bet for them to ensure that the data can no longer be accessed by TikTok itself, by ByteDance or the Chinese government. Citizen M, the innovative hotel chain, came up with a new business model this week, which perfectly is in line with the partner in life philosophy that I use in my Offer You Can't Refuse book. Um, they started with a subscription model as a hotel. And if you pay them a monthly fee, you can actually access their buildings unlimitedly for free. You can work there, you can use meeting rooms. And within the subscription fee, you also have three hotel nights that you can stay with them. So it's like almost the Netflix of hotels that they're starting. And I like this. So they looked at the new needs that people have in this new reality today, how work has changed, how meetings have changed, and they want to play a role in that. And because of that, they're starting with these subscription models, a new way of customer experience in a hotel environment. Apple is moving more and more into the field of healthcare. Like they released the sixth generation of their Apple Watches this week and it has a blood oxygen monitoring system in it, which gives you more information about your, your body and your personal health. But they also start with an Apple Fitness subscription. You can pay a monthly fee and then you can have access to content about you know, personal fitness, to, to stay in shape, to have workouts. And they commit themselves to actually add content to this program every single week. Um, so you also see how Apple wants to become a broader partner in life. They've been a partner in our lives for music, for, for mobile technology. Now more and more they want to move into the field of healthcare and play a crucial role in that domain as well. Facebook is launching Facebook Campus. And this is really funny actually because this is a Facebook specifically targeting students of universities. They're focusing on universities in the US at this moment where they want to create a separate feed, a separate news feeds, a separate community for students in universities. And of course, this is really funny because actually Facebook started as a platform for students in universities to connect with each other. And now they need a separate you know, domain, a separate formula exactly to attract this target group again, which they lost over time. And now they want to focus on that group again with Facebook campus. Facebook is going to release uh, smart glasses next year. It's going to be a partnership with Ray-Ban. They're going to take care of the design. Um, this is not going to be a full augmented reality pair of glasses. Um, this is a first step in Project Aria of Facebook. Um, probably these new uh, glasses will have the possibilities like those uh, glasses from Snapchat has where you can take pictures and films in an easy way and post them on, on the platform in an as convenient as possible um, way. Um, but it's going to be really interesting what the next phase will be when Facebook will launch in a few years from now their real augmented reality glasses. I'm looking forward to those. And then meanwhile, we can take pictures with the Facebook Ray-Ban glasses. So guys, this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the video with your friends, families and colleagues. 
If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And I really hope I will see you again next week for a new episode of Stephen's Week. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.